All right, so day seven. I've uh, finished the eye now, or at least a uh, beta of it, uh, I could call it. Um, so yeah, this is fully in UE4 in real time, um, using a lot of blueprint stuff and uh, shader things to make it look as it does. It's still only using um, diffuse. Don't really need the ambient occlusion, and I don't really need the roughness. So this is prime. This is basically just a diffuse and a, a diffuse and a normal map, really, because um, a lot of it's just done in blueprints, with the exception being the cube map. But that's based in engine, so. Yeah, um, so this is what I've been working on today, because now I've got this thing done, um, any eyes in the future, I can just change the textures within my Substance Designer file, and uh, copy and paste the blueprint, and there we are, all the eyes are done. So it's a bit of, bit of work at the front, but I'm going to save myself on uh, way much time. just going to move the mic a bit closer. So yeah. I've got a... this is made up of three parts. So this is the turbo smooth version. I have a bit more optimized version where it has um, the iris and the eyeball actually go inwards. I'll turn off the refraction. Here we are. So here's the first layer. I didn't really need to put too much detail back here because you're not going to see it. So yeah. And then on the inside there's actually a plane that I put a Fennel, I think it's called. So it means that as you just see the point of it, or when you flash a light down it, you start to get the, this sort of reflective light, which is uh, really nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I t It would be easier to see here, actually. So it dips inwards like an actual eye does. Um... If I turn the transistor back on there, so the secondary layer comes over and it lines up really well with the actual texturing, uh, and it gives all this refraction stuff um, that you can see here. It needs a little bit of work for some of these angle stuff, but realistically, you're going to be seeing it from like this maximum, you know. So it does its job quite well. A little bit of distortion at a distance, but I can work on that. It's just some slight tweaks within the blueprinting. So it gives this like nice, nice effect. As well with the subsurface scattering. So it means that like as we start to turn it a bit more, yep, like this. It's almost like you get the inside the eye as it starts to refract. And then because it also has a finel on the whole thing. It turns like slightly more orange as you're turning. I've been looking at this for a couple hours, so yeah. Also, uh, a little bit of uh, an Easter egg, you could say. This is my friend uh, Habib, um, his environment, uh, because he was rendering out a 360 um, preview image. So I thought that it's a cube map. Why not just slam it in? So yeah, I'm going to bring up a little bit of the blueprints just to show what's really gone in behind it. Since it has been all been working on today. So here's the base eye. So, kind of messy, yeah. So we have uh, the diffuse, uh, specular, just to make it shinier, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it actually. I don't know if the specula actually does anything on this part. Um, I just put it in for keep's sake. Uh, roughness on low. You know, I'm not gonna go over everything, but here's just some of the blueprint stuff I've been playing around with. Um, yeah, this gives off a pretty cool opacity stuff for the. Um, you can see sort of here. How it's um, for the opacity of the uh, subsurface scattering. So, not only have I got this thing that's like baked in from the uh, designer, you also have this real time uh, finale sort of thing that edits around it. 
Yeah. Uh, normal map and some more Fennel esque stuff, which we can sort of see a bit here. So the duckle is rather dark, just to juice it up a bit, because I was having some problems earlier with it. So yeah, this one's kind of basic, because it just needs to do, you know, mostly the colour things. I could probably get away with having a lot less. Like, I don't really need this. This can just be baked into the, uh, the eye, and the roughness isn't even plugged up. So, yeah. So yes, um, to the cornea. It's pointless viewing this thing because you can't see any of it. Um, but yeah, this thing has quite a lot of stuff going on. So this is the actual um, color. Oh, there we are. There we are. So just a tiny little bit we're going to see here. Um, yeah. So it's you can see that environment map slightly through there. Um, yeah, and this is given with a, a tiny, tiny bit of brown, because I want that a uh, like natural blend, almost. So yeah, uh, normally I'd have this shirt as black, but I've added a, a little bit of uh, a little bit of colour uh, for the reason of when you turn the side, you can just see this. If it was gone complete black, it would only be the reflective that you can see. So yeah, it makes it like this area here, giving us some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, um, the other thing is the pupil. Uh, pupil's super, super simple. And you just, just this effect, um, which you can see on a plane. Yeah. So as you turn the corner, it starts to light up. It gives it like a nice cat eye effect, a bit more realistic. And because it's in blueprint, I can easily change one. I can easily change it uh, for each eye and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, um, this has been my eye texture. Oh yeah, this is quite funny. This is uh, actually lurping in between the the habibs. Uh, one, and also the default UE4 uh, one, with then a, a Fennel added on top, so it's a bit overkill to be honest. Um, to be honest, I don't even think it's taking much of the UE4 one in. Uh, let's just tweak this. I must have tweaked it in a way that uh, removes it. Ah, there we are. There we are. So it's just like a, a blend between Habib's room and then the outer, um, the outside part, just ever so slightly. So we get sort of like the interior that's really strong, and then a some like natural lighting, like natural sunlight and some other colours mixed in. You barely see this sort of stuff and you've got to be really looking at it. Um, yeah, and this is all sort of crushed when we take it into here. Um, which way is it? Yeah. So, yeah, you get to only really see the centre of it because this is masking it out. Cause the way how this Fennel stuff works is that if it's turned, oh, in the reflectivity, if it's black, it's basically see-through. So it means that as I turn this up, you can only really get to see the middle of it. Yeah, there we are. Okay. It takes a while to load it up, so I'm not going to bother changing it, but... I've already done it slightly so you can see it's not completely re reflecting all the way to the edges, it's only like inwards towards the camera, towards the viewing angle. So yeah, this is uh, what I've been uh, doing all day. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to 
end off here. I also need to start planning out my revised FMP, so I'll be doing that over the weekend. Um, I haven't done an awful amount with the female uh, body today, as I saw got sidetracked with this, but I'm quite happy that I did. Um, tomorrow, my goal is to work on the feet and the hands, because they need done ASAP. So yeah, I'll update tomorrow to see how things go.